So you're working hard. You're putting in the hours. You're doing everything that you're supposed to do. But all of that means nothing if you're busy on BS. So what's going on, guys? It's Uzziah, your success strategist. And in today's productivity lesson, I want to show you why you're putting in so much effort with nothing to show for it. You are busy on BS. We're all busy on BS. We are busy being busy. From the time that you wake up into the time that you go to bed, you are running around like a chicken with your head cut off. You're getting dressed, you're going on a commute, you're in meetings, you're running errands, you're running all over the place, you're stretched in a million different places at once. Until you get home and right before you go to sleep, you look at yourself in the mirror and you ask yourself, what did I actually accomplish today? Have you ever asked yourself that? If the answer is yes, and you had nothing to show for it, you are busy being busy. You are busy on BS. And there's a big difference between being busy versus being productive. See, productive people are able to accomplish more with less. And one thing that productive people do not do is master the wrong thing. So there was a time where a group of engineers were on a work trip and they were traveling by airplane past this deserted island. And as they were looking at this deserted island, marveling at how beautiful it was from 10,000 feet in the air, suddenly the plane had crashed. Now, fortunately for this group of engineers, they lived to tell about it. As the plane had crashed, they had all survived. But of course, now here it is, they're stuck, stranded in the middle of a crisis, and they are wondering how they're going to get themselves out of this situation. So some of the engineers started panicking and asking, what the hell just happened? <laughs> is this what my life is coming down to? I'm about to die on this island. But some other engineers slapped them out of it, got them into the right frame of thinking, and they devised a game plan on how to be able to survive on this island. So the first thing that these engineers did was they went to the emergency section of the plane. They started looking for first aid kits. They started looking for any uh, extra surplus of food. And then they stumbled upon a box of machetes. Now these engineers took these box of machetes one by one, everyone put one in hand, and they realized that in order for them to survive, they were going to have to use these machetes in the forest. The island had all sorts of trees around it. And before the plane had crashed, as they were looking from an aerial view, they noticed that one side of the island had a lot more plush resources than the other. So their objective was to go from the side of the island that they were on with not too much going on around them to getting to that other side where all of the resources was for them to be able to survive. So they're traveling through this island. They're walking through it, having to cut down one tree to another. They're working super hard. They're working up a sweat. They're hoping to one day eventually get to the other side of this island. Until there comes a time where one of the engineers travels up, making a climb all the way up to the top of the tree. And he recognizes that the engineers, although they're cutting down the trees effectively, are not actually moving in the right direction. All of those resources that they were looking at from that aerial view when they were on the other plane, it was on the other side. And he had to look at the guys and talk down from the tree above and say, guys, listen, you're doing a good job, but I got to tell you something. You're cutting in the wrong way. You're supposed to be going left and we're going right. And that's what can happen when you find yourself making all of the right moves, but you're moving in the wrong direction. I want to tell that to you again. 
You can make all the right moves, but you could be moving in the wrong direction. This is what life is like when you are mastering the wrong thing. Most people are busy in their life rather than productive because they're majoring in minor things. But at some point in their life, society gave them a narrative that told them that what they were doing was super important. They thought they reached the mountaintop when they did it. I know that was me when I was working in corporate America. I spent my entire life waiting for the day that I was going to be working at a computer company until I got there and I realized that it wasn't my ultimate calling. And just like I was working super hard to be able to climb the corporate ladder, getting certifications, putting in the extra hours, doing overtime, making sure that I was checking the box on everything that I needed to do during the employee review, I ultimately came to the conclusion that no matter how hard I worked, there was no possible way for me to get paid my worth in this position. I had to start playing a different game. You right now, you could be putting in so much effort and so much time and you could be giving it your all, but you're trying to master the wrong game. And so I want to tell you to first and foremost, step out of that prison because you're so busy running that you don't realize that you're on a treadmill. Yes, you're burning a lot of calories, but you're not going anywhere. So how do you work your way out of this box? What you got to be able to really do is you got to take less time working and you got to spend more time thinking. OK, I want you to think about how there is a famous book that was written by Napoleon Hill called Think and Grow Rich. Now, why does it not say work and grow rich, hustle and grow rich, grind and grow rich? Because you don't become wealthy by hustling. That's a myth. You build success by thinking. Thinking is a critical component of your success, but you got to make sure that you're not mastering the wrong thing. You got to make sure that you're not placing so much value on the work ethic and you're not putting enough time on your thought process. I'm guilty of this as well. I've spent so much time getting myself caught up in a rut on things that I have to stop myself and actually ask myself, do I like the direction that I'm going? Because it's possible that I could be making all of the right moves, but I could be going in the wrong direction. And that's what you need to do. So I would advise, even if it's only one time a week, put yourself in isolation. Put yourself in an isolated place a quiet room, no distractions, and ask yourself, what are my biggest problems and how do I focus on solving it? That's one thing that you could be asking yourself in isolation. Another thing that you could be asking yourself in isolation is, what game should I really focus on mastering? So instead of spending all this time working on the wrong thing, Begin to ask yourself, well, what would actually give me the biggest impact in my life? What would give me the most ROI? Because it can become very easy in this extremely busy world to go through life every day like a robot, always working, but never thinking about the work that you're doing. Society is actually programmed in many ways for us not to think. Remember how there used to be a time where you used to say, oh, man, I'm bored. <laughs> oh, man, I don't have anything to do. And there's no such thing as bored now because you got social media, smartphone devices, all of these different technological uh, inventions to start consuming your thoughts. Right. You don't do too much. Just random thinking. So I want you to think and then grow rich, just like the book says. The last thing that I want to say to you in this video is once you've actually thought about how to master the right game and what that game is, as you begin to adjust your life 
to focus on doing the right things in the right direction? Are you giving it enough room to breathe? What do I mean when I say that? See, you have so many different things going on in your life that you're literally smothering the life out of your next big move. You're smothering the life out of a game-changing decision. So you may decide that you want to start your own business, start your own uh, company, write a book, but you're never going to do it if you have a million other things that's smothering your attention. If you're all over the place, if you're busy being busy, you are going to have to make time for your company to grow. You have to give life to it. So I want you to start thinking about all of the different activities that you're taking on every single day, that's just nothing but busy work. You don't know why you do it. All you know is that you've, you're have you doing it and that you've always done it, right? You get into the habit of things. I want you to start listing out on a sheet of paper what those activities are. And then I want you to begin asking yourself, is this something that I really should be doing, okay? Most cases, 80% of the time, the answer is no. Start cutting those things off the list. Give yourself the opportunity to be able to have enough sunlight to be able to bring life to your true calling so that way you can shine, okay? So make sure that you subscribe to this channel. If you're serious about building an empire and actually giving life to your vision and your idea and your dreams, I want you to click the link below so that way I can show you step by step how to be able to make the transition out of your nine to five job, exit out successfully and create your own streams of income. OK, this is extremely important. Nobody else is going to teach it to you among your family, your friends, the school system. This is your moment for you to shine. Remember. Don't master the wrong thing. You could be making all of the right decisions, but you could be moving in the wrong direction. All right? So I'll see you tomorrow for the next episode of Black Men's Career.